Hello AP Scholars, we're going to be taking a look at how you can load a file uh, into your program that's full of words and uh, you can uh, pull those each individual word into an array list so you can search through it or get a random word or you know whatever you like. So here we got a, a method, uh, load words, and it assumes that you have done some import statements. So if I uh, scroll to the top, whoops, we can see I have imported these things here. We need the scanner class. It's not the only way to load a file, but that's the way I'm going to do it uh, since we've used scanner for other parts of the project. Uh, I have a, a file <laughs> class imported so that I can represent files like the Word file from, uh, I think it's called words.txt from the Hackman assignment, which you can grab. Uh, you have to get some uh, file not found exception and uh, array list as well. So if I scroll down to my load words, basically what uh, is happening is I send it the string that is the file name. In this case, it's going to be words.txt uh, if you're using the same one I'm using. And then first thing you do is create a file object. So this is just a um, you know Java uh, representation of any kind of file, and it allows you to access these files through other things. And then we're going to have a try catch statement. So this is something that's new. Uh, try catch is necessary for certain operations. It basically means that you need to uh, try some kind of code that could potentially cause an error. And if it, a runtime error happens, you can catch it uh, and then do something specific with it. We're, we're uh, not really going to do anything too much with this. Uh, we're just going to print out the error, which is kind of the default thing. But this is actually a really cool piece of code and you might enjoy, um, you know, playing around with this. You know, we, in the past, we haven't used it, but something like our fraction class, you know, like when we have a divide by zero potential problem happening, like we could have tried and catched that kind of thing uh, to, to make our class a little more robust and uh, responsive to those errors as opposed to just printing out like, oh, an error has happened. Oh, my Discord's going off. Oh, I'll just ignore it. <laughs> Note to self, turn that off next time. Uh, anyways, uh, so once we have uh, the file, uh, and inside the try, what we do is we uh, make a new scanner object, but we're, instead of scanning from the terminal, we're going to scan from the file. And then we go into a loop where we're going to be um, just scanning as long as there's things to scan. And inside of this text file, there's just one word on each line. There's just a, all sorts of different words. Uh, not all of them are five length. So what we do is we get a whole line uh, with our scanner object. The whole line is just a single word. We can guarantee that. That's part of the file structure. And I just store that as a temporary variable. And I'm like, hey, is, is it a five-letter word? If it is, and hey, is the first character of that word uh, up, uh, not uppercase? And the reason why I'm getting rid of the uppercase ones is because in that file there's acronyms and there are, you know, uh, proper nouns, you know, names, that kind of stuff. So I don't want any of those. That's those aren't supposed to be in the the Wordle puzzles. So uh, I basically only get five letter words that are you know not capitalized. And if they, I add them to an array list. This is an array list of strings, by the way. It's declared outside of this uh, method. It's I'm using an object oriented approach. This is in a puzzle class. But uh, you know, depending on how you do it, you can you can change that up. It doesn't have to be exactly like that. But it's declared elsewhere as an instance variable. Uh, so I just add that word. And at the end of this loop, basically, it'll it'll end automatically because has next sort of keeps track of where you are. And, and when you get to the end of the file, it'll just stop. Uh, there's an end of file character at the end of, of text files. So basically, that uh, will fill your array list with like 3,000 some, um, you know, I don't know, somewhere between three and 4,000 uh, five-letter words for your Wordle. So that's great. This is basically the, the code you need to make that happen. And then make sure that as you make guesses, you check that the guess that people make are actual words. So you should check inside of words that the guess is contained in there. Uh, also, this is, of course, useful for getting a random puzzle. So you can get a random word from this list of words. And that's done elsewhere. But, you know, depending on your structure, you you can sort of fit this in however you like. Okay, so I'm going to upload this to YouTube, and I'm going to put that out there for you to look at. Also, I guess I will, in case you don't have the words.txt file, I'll put that in a Teams post along with the link to this YouTube video. So check Teams uh, for the words.txt file that will complete this. And don't forget to put the words.txt file 
in the same folder as wherever this project is stored. Okay, thanks everybody. Take care.